hello thank you so much for clicking my video and in today's video i have two wigs brought to you by hair supply shop i'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig in their direct store brand of the wig that i have today is bobby boss i have on the style mlf 464 brielle in the color 2 mm one b slash d dot blue the specs on this wig is that it has a five inch deep lace parting space hand tied lace front wig natural baby hairs and heat safe these two wigs are the same style but different colors. This is what the inside of the color 2 looks like. You get two combs in the front, not too far from the temple, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material can stretch and the lace comes lightly brown. This is what the color 2 looks like straight out of the box. This wig comes as a middle part and the parting space is plucked. You also get the baby hairs that they was talking about. I don't think the baby hairs is really that natural, but hey, if that's what they want to call it, then by all means, go ahead. I do not like the baby hairs on here, so I'm just plucking off all of the baby hairs. But if you do want this unit and you want to keep the baby hairs, then by all means, go ahead and keep it. So the top is also a little bit humpy, so to get it a little bit more flatter, I'm going in with my Andis hot comb on a temperature number five. I should have moved the camera back a little bit more, sorry about that, but right here I'm just playing with the curls lightly and just trying to separate them so the wig can have just a little bit more volume. Also a little bit too shiny for my liking, so I'm just spraying some dry shampoo on it to dull the shine. The same steps that I did on the color number two is the same steps that I'm going to do on a dark blue color. So that means I'm going to go in and pluck off those baby hairs. Also, I'm going to go in and press the parting space down and dim down the shine. up is the color number two uh i really hope this goes well because this wig is kind of giving me synthetic vibes i went ahead and applied the makeup powder underneath the lace the makeup powder that i used was my maybelline fit me powder in the shade 355 and i used that to help give it that scalp appearance look and right here in the back is where i hooked my adjustable straps the stocking cap I will be wearing underneath is a brown nude stocking cap. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on the wig now. Alright, so it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because on the stock card model, it looks like really fire. But when I took it straight out of the box, I was just like, oh, whoa, what is this? So I'm just going to go ahead and try to style it. It shouldn't be that much work to style because there's no like lace or, you know, hairline to pluck. But this is what the hairline looks like is a straight hairline. So let me just finish up and come right back. Some of y'all know when I start holding them ends, I'm getting that idea to cut it. The ends is just a little eh to me, so I just go in and trim some of it off.
work so i'm just gonna say my quick thoughts on the color number two so i feel like this wig is like super beginner friendly if you're that type of person that just want to cut your lace play with the curls have the curls pre-styled for you then this is your type of wig these um curls actually remind me of curling wand curls so if that's the look you want to go for definitely the density on this wig is low to medium it's really not that thick but i feel like it goes with the style of the wig as for tangling when i was separating the curls i did get a few snags here and there with the curls not surprised it's a long synthetic wig also the shine on the wig i feel like when you get it you do have to go in and dim down the shine with some dry shampoo if you want if you like how the shine looks straight out of the box then by all means you could keep it that way but i definitely had to go in with some dry shampoo <sighs> this is not my kind of wig for every day i don't know i just don't like the style on me but i am just the messenger I'm just showing you guys what the wig looks like because sometimes it's not all about what I like. Somebody else could see this wig and be like, oh my god, I need this wig. It's super beginner friendly. I need it. So I'm just the messenger. I really don't think it's that bad. It's really not that bad, to be honest. But if you want to keep this wig like really long, I recommend you not sleeping in this wig. I feel like the nape area will probably get really tangly if you like try to sleep in it or rub your neck all over it. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm just saying it by the quality of the hair and the way the curls are like sticking together. That's just the feel it's giving me. But as for the lace, I feel like the lace blends really nicely with my skin. The parting space comes really nicely pre-plucked. I feel like it looks like a real parting space. And the size on this wig if you have a big head you are in for the clear or larger head sorry about that you're definitely in for the clear this is a stretch cap fit material if you have a smaller head just tie the adjustable straps crisscross the adjustable straps or hook the adjustable straps as close as possible like i did so let me get the last color out for you guys okay so the next color up is the m1b slash d dot blue here it is. It's a dark blue. These curls is untouched. These are the curls that came straight out of the box. But I kind of feel like the blue is actually a little thicker than the color number two, especially straight out of the box. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm just being over dramatic or seeing things. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap wigs. Um, so, 
with this one I didn't really play with the curls as much as the color number two I want to kind of keep the curls in there just in case somebody was interested in keeping the curls and not really making it too voluminous the shine on this one I did go in and spray it with dry shampoo also tangling I'm not really sure about tangling because I didn't really run my fingers through it the size, the same thing like the other one, definitely big head friendly. The parting space comes nicely pre-plucked as well. I feel like the first one comes a little bit more better pre-plucked. This one's just a little tighter, but it's still natural looking. I do wish the hairline came plucked just a little bit or like, you know, just some extra lace in the front so I could pluck it or something. But this is just it. Like I said, these wigs are beginner friendly. Just because I don't like them for myself every day doesn't mean somebody else won't like it, okay? No offense, Bobby Boss, don't take this too bad, but you guys was like in the league this year. You guys had them 13 by seven lace wigs. You guys was killing it with the pre-plugged hairline. You guys was on it, but you guys kind of fell off a bit. Like, no offense, like I said. Mm, this wig is just not my everyday wig. It's just, it's not, not for me. Not for me. It could be for somebody else, but for me, it's just a no-no. I'm just here to show you guys so you guys can make it work and show you guys what it look like. Um, So that's like, pretty much everything I have to say about these wigs yeah that's it but if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible and I'll see you guys in my next video later you guys